Welcome to this Hive course on Time Tracking Made Easy. We will be discussing different ways to track time on an action card level, how to review and edit time entries, and how to customize time tracking reporting to get a quick overview of the track time. Let's get started. Time Tracking is a workspace app that allows you to record how long your work takes. First thing first, you want to make sure that the Time Tracking app is enabled in your workspace apps. Once enabled, you will see the time tracking section in each one of your action cards. Now let's open up an action card and start adding our time. When you are working on an action, you can add your time right in the card. There are two ways you can add time to an action, by editing the total time or by using the time recorder. To add time by editing the total time, click on add time here Enter the time spent either by using the quick add options listed here or typing it manually. Make sure you select the right date and note that you can also add time for a past or future date as well. If your organization is using time categories, you can also select the appropriate category for the time you're tracking here and categorize the time you spent. Please note that time categories are only editable by admins. Please contact your workspace admins if you have any questions about the categories listed here. You also have the option to enter a brief description of what you're working on. If you're a workspace admin or project owner, you can also add time on behalf of another project member. To do that, simply choose the name of the project member and follow the same steps. If you want to quickly add time without opening an individual action card, you can also right click on the action card when you're in my actions view. As well as in Kanban view. And also in table view. To add time using the time recorder, click on record time and you will see a stopwatch at the top of your screen. When you are done with your task, click the stop button and time will automatically save the total time spent on that action. You can always come back to that stopwatch later if needed and time will still get applied back to that action. You can also click to expand and see specifics of each individual entry. To review a time entry, click on the action tile to review all entries. To delete a time entry, just hover over it and click the trash icon. You can enter multiple entries each day or multiple times a day as needed. Additionally, you can also track time on the sub-action level as well. If you're time tracking on the sub-action level, your sub-action time will roll off to the parent action by default. And lastly, if you're looking to review the time you've tracked, you can head to the time tracking app here and use the filters to customize your report. This will give you a quick overview of where you spent your time during a certain time frame. In this report, you can see time tracked versus time estimated. You can also expand to see time spent on each task You can filter by project, you can filter by team, and also by individual team member. You can also define the time period over which you want to see the time tracked. And lastly, you can export your report to an Excel file. Thank you for joining this course on Time Tracking Made Easy. So far we covered different ways to track time on an action card level, how to review and edit time entries, and how to customize a time tracking report. Tune in to our next video in the series to complete your learning on everyday essentials.